Hey, it's Malcolm High, proud member of the class of 67 from Sunnyvale High School, here with... It's Dick Singer. How you doing? Class of 67. The best class. Best class ever. Ever. Maybe the class of 64 isn't close in second place. <laughs> uh, Rich came down here on a visit. He's with his family at campground in Paso Robles? Yeah, Cabo Robles. Cabo Robles. The, the, our family camp we do once a year. Yeah, and he called me up and he says, I got to get out of here. I've had enough of my family. <laughs> no, he didn't. Um, we've had a nice lunch. And hold up the beer you're drinking. He's in the 805, which is our area code down here. Dick and I have known each other since... Seventh grade, Benner Junior High. 1960 freaking two. How many, that's been 30 Six, years, 40, 50, 60. 60 years. 60 years. 60 years, yeah. That, and makes, that makes us about 65. Yeah, exactly, uh, working our way up. <laughs> Can you imagine being 72? I can't. Well, I, I can't imagine being 73, and I'm gonna be 74. Yeah. Live up in Sacramento area, Rancho Cordova, which is a little town just east of the greater Sacramento yes. uh, area. So, been there for 44 years, 43, 44 years. So, Phil is on. Uh oh, somebody's giving him a call. Yeah. We both graduated in June of 67. Phil is in from there. <laughs> <laughs> you got 38 seconds. Oh. Uh, De Anza for your first De Anza year. De for a year, then into the uh, Air Force for uh, almost four years, three and, a little over three and a half. Then I got back out, went to uh, Davis, went to uh, Sac State, and uh, I just graduated the class of uh, 2003. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> and what'd you do for a living most of this time? Most of the time I was an appraiser with Sacramento County that uh, retired in 2016. So retirement is uh, wonderful. If you, if you haven't done it yet, do it. Let's do the numbers. How many grandkids? Four grandkids, two they, daughters. Name them off in order of first to last. You got uh, 10 seconds. Colton, Lily, Ella, and Clay. Out of babe. Yeah. Yeah. Clay's, Clay's back with the Warriors. He's doing well. Yeah. Congratulations <laughs> on having such an athletic grandson. He's a big tall kid. Well, let's go back in our memory banks. Uh, favorite teacher at Sunnyvale High School or teachers? Teacher or administrator? Definitely uh, Dick Henning and Paul Sakamoto. Legendary. Yeah, my favorites. And how about you, you Ken? As we're speaking, my wife just pulled up. Well, very good. Put the beers away. No. <laughs> Rich was thinking about one other teacher. It was a German teacher, but he can't remember her name. But I'll look it up and I'll uh, make sure it gets on the tape. Yeah, we called her Frau. 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 So it was like Frau Schmidt or something like that. Frau Blucher. <laughs> Young Frankenstein. And that so, was actually my best class. I had straight A's in that. Everything else was a, more of a struggle. Fantastic. Yeah. And you did sports, I know. Yeah. Uh, I was a JV basketball player and a golfer for a year and a half, and you did? I did wrestling and football. Uh, did water polo my freshman year, but uh, sophomore, junior, senior wrestling and then football, or vice versa. If you had to uh, capsulize a couple of memories of your time at Sunnyvale High School, what would what would uh, rank up there at the top? Uh, graduation. <laughs> <laughs> Not in this place. <laughs> oh, I think it was just, you know, freshman class president, I got to know so many kids and, and our, um, what was the thing that we had, like convention? Oh, the nomination, nomination convention. Yeah, those, those were pretty good. Pretty fun. The, in the, the hangar. The dancers, the dances in the hangars, yeah. Yeah, the hangar, spelled H-A-N-G-A-R, yes. just for the, because it's uh, after Moffat Field's hangar. Yeah, those are good. And for me, I think it was just, just knowing that what seemed like a forever period of time, four years, uh, looking back on it now, it was just a blurb. Yeah. But here we are, still interacting with one another, uh, with the reunion football game. Uh, people are going back to the, the old campus, which is now the King's Academy, and and remembering all these these wonderful times, special time to be alive. Yep, we're really blessed to have uh, have had such great friends for so many years. Yep, yep. it's been a wonderful life. Hey, so it's a wonderful a movie, life. We'll make a movie uh, about Jimmy that. Stewart, and I'll play. <laughs> who was the secondary character? His brother who fell into the ice. There you go. You can tell none of this is rehearsed. Since you were an appraiser, give me an appraisal of this property down here in Templeton. Oh, it's, it's got to be at least uh, two two and a half three million. 
Now it's not quite like that, but it is peaceful, except for the guy with the jackhammer that's been every every two and a half minutes. But anyway, as we say our goodbyes to the people out there in Jetland, what would you like to say? Just have a great year. Hopefully everybody is going to be uh, getting through this pandemic and we're going to just come out stronger on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. And I usually ask people to sing the alma mater just to embarrass myself. <laughs> and it starts off, all hail alma mater. You can hum it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. I doubt that. We all always remember that 805 makes you high. The blue of the That's ocean. enough torture. <laughs> <laughs> the white clouds up above, the blue and white of Sunnyvale High, Dick Singer, I love.